so it came up a degree. Okay, so here's the scenario. Last night, you know, we had a bug out of uh, San Diego. You know, the kids decided that it was going to be like a zombie virus theme. You know, hey, it's what motivates them, you know, that they want to come out. We arrived at camp probably about 8 p.m. So, being that it was dark, you know, they had to do quick, hasty shelters. And uh, we got a fire going. Uh, there's a little creek down here. You know, so we uh, filtered some water. So today is going to be, you know, we're going to give them a map, a compass. And we have cached two food stores here on uh, the property. And the youth are going to have to go out, you know, with the map and compass. Find the food stores, bring it on back. You know, if they want to eat breakfast, lunch, or uh, dinner. And uh, today we're going to be working on, you know, fire making skills. We're going to work on uh, shelters. And uh, we're going to be working on different ways to purify water. You know, so we really only got like a good solid day of, uh, you know, training and uh, give the youth some experience. Today they'll also be working on, you know, making their shelters uh, a little bit more uh, better against the elements. You know, a lot of them, we just put tarps out and, you know, they slept under the stars. It got down to 32 last night. It got a little cold. And the uh, humidity is up around 85%, at least on my thermometer that I have over there at camp. Uh, kids are all camped. You can see through the trees. I'm out on a little scout right now because we've been hearing turkeys going all around and uh, I just want to get something on video for you guys. You know, I always try to get some wildlife or something on video. It, uh, I feel, just enhances the experience. So, periodically through the day, you know, I'll be chiming in with the camera, trying to be like that fly on the wall and catch them, you know, where it's not scripted for you guys. And, uh, you know, we'll see how this experiment works. So come along and uh, let's enjoy the ride. Let's have some fun. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a great day. The sun's getting ready to come up over the horizon. So it's going to be a great day out here. You know, we're in uh, the northeast side of San Diego County. We're right on the cusp of like uh, forest and then it's starting to get into desert. We're in this big oak grove. Uh, luckily there's a lot of brush that, you know, they can use for shelters. And, uh, you know, let's see what we get on film. Thanks. Sixty degrees, like somewhere that way. Right between this that way. Robbie! That's what I said. Yeah. Let's go that way. I'm not a bitch, I'm right here. Which one are you going for? 16. Okay, we sent the youth out with a map and compass to go after food that we had cached at two points. One group took off hard charging. I don't. Missed the mark. They missed the mark big time. And the other group has the general direction. We'll have to wait and see. So the ladies you found a food cache. Oh, we're going to be stuck here. You might take mm -hmm. it all. Yep. You guys check the breakfast items. Drop it off. We'll post start here. Go with it, Tyler. Where'd the lid go? <laughs> okay, we're trying right. to teach these youth how to build fire primitive, a couple different ways. So, basically you're gonna take... I lost the lid. ...the cotton balls, and you're gonna smash it out to about the size Still of a hot. quarter. Yeah. I'm done. I'm fire. Are you sure you want a quarter? Yeah. And then you're gonna kinda pull it apart so you start to see strings. The more strings you have, the easier this stuff is to light. I'm better. 
It bounced. You, you need um, stuff around that. Okay. You see how that's all nice Not and stringy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like batteries are too dead. Want some fire paste? Yeah, that's why you can't put on fire paste. Huh? I want fire paste. <laughs> One hit of that with some spark. No. <laughs> it tastes delicious. See how sad you feel tonight when you're eating it. Okay, so, so at this point, what the heck do you have on top of that mushroom? No, it's not. I think I missed that. Hey, listen. <laughs> what is this song? It's sticking to my finger. Oh, it says it's drinking. Oh. They said my fire So like work. that. They said my fire wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, same with mine. Ooh. It'll only stay moved for 30 seconds. Alex, how'd you light it? <laughs> PJ, sparks. hold the knife closer and pull here. back on the rod. That way the oh, oh, yeah. it stays close to there it. There you go. Let's do that. Oh, this it went out. No, it didn't. Good going. Your fire is making me hot fire. right now. <laughs> so good. Now you got your cooking fire started because I don't know what you're doing about lunch. We're making we're making problems on the crackers. Probably transfer that in. What? What do you what are you making? There you go. Problems. It's um peanut butter and marmalade. Okay. Right. And we're gonna put it on rich crackers because they're hot bread. Oh, that's what I think. I like that. I like that. Yeah. There you go. You did it better than me. Wow, those things work really well. I may have to buy some of them now. So, we're doing a little hike where uh, one of our leaders, Paul, put out this trap called the squirrel pole. So we're taking the youth over there to check it out, see how he uh, fabricated it, put it up. Let's go check it out. At the time, I noticed a bunch of squirrel activity in and around that tree. So the diagonal pole, or stick that's kind of leaning at a 45 degree angle, yeah. that's the squirrel pole. If you notice, there's about six snares running up and down the length of that pole. The white band that's around there, I actually soaked it in, uh, uh, no, it's a school, uh, squirrel lure. Um, so it gives off a scent that the squirrels <coughs> like, want to come investigate it. So we're heading off now over by where the trucks are at because they have running water and stuff and uh, we're going to let the youth, you know, harvest the three rabbits that we had uh, gotten from the Sear School that the Navy has uh, just a few miles down the road from uh, the camp here. So we're going to have them harvest them and uh, they're going to gut them out, skin them, and uh, we brought Dutch ovens, so we're going to be cooking rabbit stew in Dutch ovens this afternoon. So for some of these kids, that's their first time seeing anything, you know, harvest like that. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of first going on tonight for these kids. You know, you take for granted, a lot of them grow up in cities and, you know, They've only been to a park once or twice, let alone come out here in the woods. So, yeah, you know, it's not hardcore, quote, survival that we're doing, but, you know, we're introducing these kids to roughing it more than just tent camping and more than just cooking with propane stoves or alcohol stoves. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to have the foundation that uh, in future trips, you know, maybe we can step it up a notch. So, next we'll show how we're uh, harvesting these rabbits. So you only made me ask you. Work it down the leg. 
It's like fishing, Alex. Yep. I don't go fishing too much, so. You want to put this back? Well, there's some free version of it. Yeah. The but usually the free version sucks. There's always commercials. I think we bought like two things. I got my knife back here. Yeah. Four. Rabbit. And we got vegetables on the boil. And gravy in the pot. Some good eats. Oh, that worked. And we got some hungry critters right here. I coin that knife too. Good morning, it's Woods Ninja. Hey, it's Sunday morning. We're at our primitive camp. Uh, temps this morning are about 29 degrees. A little frost on the ground. Kids are in good spirits. Uh, ain't gonna lie, it was cold last night. You know, my 25 degree synthetic bag, it was pushing the limits. So we were sitting around the fire this morning talking. And, you know, some of us next time, we're going to try to find some quality wool blankets and, you know, try to go that route with the wool blankets and see how that works, you know. But, you know, sitting around the campfire last night, uh, the kids were highly motivated. They uh, really enjoyed doing this camp out and they look forward to doing another one, you know, and maybe taking it to the next step. So, uh, you know, I'm glad... You folks could come along with me. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, it was a blast with the youth, you know. It's always fun to see how, you know, somebody new to the woods is going to react. And I have to say that all the youth, you know, they, they were troopers, you know. A couple of them got pretty cold, you know. One, uh, you know, didn't drink enough water. And I think being out in the sun all day, you know, from dawn till dusk you know might have had a little effect on them but uh, they got tough cowboyed up and hung in there I'm proud of them all you know we'll give you a little bird's eye of you know our little huts and you know they're not quote official bushcrafter ones but you know you got to understand these kids got to have a start somewhere you know most of them like I said earlier have just been to city parks you know we have a debris hut right there another debris hut I made like a little tarp shelter just playing around another debris hut over there our little brush wood pile and you know one their first time camping so they brought a tent and that's fine you know I'd rather that they have a good time and frost on the ground now, hopefully, I'm going to try doing a little recon. I don't know if I'll see any today, but we sure as heck heard them. It was a bunch of turkeys. There was a ton of turkeys all over camp. But uh, every time I try to catch them on film, you know, they're ducking and running. They're pretty smart. So, thanks for coming along with us on this trip. And uh, hopefully, we can get some more trips in the future. Take care.